Hi, Matt Bazonia here again, and uh, it's time for another race preview. Um, it's Friday uh, morning as I'm recording this, and um, I thought I'd take a slightly different approach to things today um, and go with a top-down attack. Now, I haven't actually, um, I've got nothing prepared, so I'm, uh, I, I hope this doesn't, I hope this works basically um I, i'm doing it as any user would of an evening uh going to a report i'm going to start with trainer jockey combo because it's a good place to start particularly on a saturday where all registered users have access to this um, so i'm going to click the tomorrow button to make it saturday and you'll see that i've got some uh some parameters set up at the top here um <clears throat> these help to filter everything down so if I just clear those a second you'll see that um, with the unfiltered version there's a heck of a lot of uh, trainers to wade through and a lot of the data won't be relevant to the way you bet uh, and in this case isn't relevant to the way I bet so I'm going to reinstate um, these parameters I've got actual over expected of 1.25 so that's a positive market expectation essentially I've got a win percent minimum of 25% so I want a kind of a high strike rate for this um, and I'm going to demand at least 10 runs and um, and then I'm going to click my update button and I've got a there you go there's my short list from before and you can see that um, the you know there's a 50% a, a strike rate in the last uh, 14 days and 42 percent some very high strike rates um, I am interested in this data but I'm not it's not um, it wouldn't be my primary consideration I like uh, longer term success and um, particularly um, at the tracking question so the course five-year button is a favorite of mine um, and we can see here that we've got just these four combinations uh with larger data sets certainly in the stout more um uh case a a much you know quite quite a robust data set there and we've got a 50 percent strike rate uh hitting the frame 31 from 62 um, which is pretty material if i just click on anywhere on that line it opens up a little box that tells me the two runners that um, Stouty and Moore are combining with tomorrow. And we've got Karun um, and Mekong. Now this ran poorly at York last time. And this one was a, was a horse I backed anti-post for the Guineas last year. Um, uh, and um, didn't even actually manage to win a, a handicap this year. Um, anyway, so these are, the, these are interesting runners. Just one other thing to show you on this tab before we go any more deeply um, if you click one of these little uh, pointy hat up arrow icons on the left hand side it will show you so for example this Mark Johnston Richard Kingscote line he said they've had 13 uh, runs together at uh, at Haydock in the last five years and if you click on this little pointy hat thing um, you can see those 13 rides here so you can see for example that um, they started very well in 2017 as a partnership had two more winners around about this time last year uh, and they've been running consistently well 20 to 1 this guy third um, more recently but uh, this year only two so far this year and both of them were um, soundly enough beaten uh, what you can do with this is you can you can sort by for example position so I could see um, that the four winners were all fairly well fancied so if the King's Coat horse there's no odds in yet and he's, he's actually going to be fairly um, a short price looking at just looking at the form string uh, he's on a hat trick but if he was a 20 to 1 shot then I'd, I'd kind of it would put me off a little bit even though the only really big priced one um, actually ran okay um, so that, they're just things that you can do you can look at uh, you can sort by SP or you know whatever you want really but I think it's 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 this is 
certainly helpful context to the summary line but the fact that it's agile in terms of you being able to sort uh, by whichever column you want to is is additional power to your elbow um, so I just wanted to show you that quickly okay um, what is there of interest to me here I, I've got to, I've got to say that um, the more stout angle is not one that particularly appeals not because they can't win but just because they're running in these um, hyper competitive races at Sandown um, the Dalglish grey angle is kind of interesting again we've got this 50% play strike rate very strong win uh, strike rate supporting that and an A over E a market expectation of 3.08 which is that's really high you know on a, on a reasonable sample size we're always dealing with very small sample sizes in um, in racing statistics so it doesn't it doesn't do to get gung-ho or to go overboard about a given statistic but um, this this is um, th this looks reasonably material Let, let's be no more bold than that um, the impact value of 2.98 suggests that th th these guys um, strike almost three times as often as uh, as par for want of a better word um, under these uh, at Carlisle in those circumstances so they've got they've got three runners tomorrow and on the stats you'd expect one of them to win um, and one and a half of them to place um, they'd be worth digging into in a bit more detail at this stage I'm just trying to get an overview so I'm looking at this and then I'm going to look at a couple of other reports um, I think we'll look at uh, the trainer snippets report which gives us a whole bunch of kind of sub subplot plot is the wrong word really but um interesting angles uh that might be missed at first glance like trainer jockey is a fairly obvious um uh angle into a race whereas something like uh, race type or first or second start in a handicap particularly or off a layoff or quick returning these things are um a bit more under the radar let's say and the reason that took a little minute to load is because, as you can see, there is an awful lot of data in this report, an awful lot. So um, you'll forgive it taking seven or eight seconds to pull all that data in. Now, obviously, with that much data, we can't consume it in its current format. So we need to use our parameters at the top to, um, to help us out. Uh, I'll go 125 here again and... Um, the, sorry one, one thing I should have said all of these um, th this, this report is slightly different from the other ones so the other ones they have you've got 14 day 30 day course one year course five year um, so they have different periodicities on the other one on this report they all have the same periodicity which is a two year period so from but essentially from today going back two years um, and then it's different um, contexts or angles for the trainers in the boxes rather than different date periods okay i hope that made sense right now i'm going to change this runs one to 25 and i'm going to click update and i'm going to get a shorter list now um, but still pretty long um, so i'm going to put a win percent now win percent you've got to be careful with win percent on trainer snippets because um for example race type well let's use a different example um last time out winner uh would have higher win strike rates than for instance first start so you can see this guy's 24 percent. if i click on first start we've got a 21 percent. i mean that's a that's a remarkably high strike rate that joe lyons has with his first time out um this nine percent is kind of it is more standard you can see even even nine percent is 1.16 in iv so it's still above the average the average is about eight percent one in 12 first time out horses running first time out win um so 21 percent is is really is phenomenal and he'd be one of the you know the very highest uh, first time starter winner so uh, that would be interesting because it, again it's quite a big sample size so um, Helen of Albany she's a short price um, but for obvious reasons now what I've just noticed is that I'm looking at today so I'm just going to flick that onto tomorrow 
and we've got uh, Michael Dodds there but I'm going back to all now so what we need to do really is um, we kind of need to break this down into two so first I'm going to ask for more runs I'm going to say at least 50 runs and I'm going to put a strike rate a low strike rate of 10% in here uh, and an impact value of 1.5 because I don't want I want things that happen um, more often than the norm and that's what this does so this is saying I want I want th only things that happen at least one and a half times more often than the norm for whatever that thing is so in this case um, horses returning within seven days um, and that's a really interesting one there Roger fell running a horse back within seven days in the last two years he's done that 168 times 39 of them have won 23 a nice high strike rate um, really good profit each way uh, whichever way you cut that it looks good and if we look at his 168 see I just click that there and as, as quick as that we've got those 168 runners in the window um, you can do this with the 2000 run data sets if you want but you probably <laughs> probably not going to get too much um, meaning out of those um, but what we can see straight away is that um, Roger Fell running them back quickly is in brilliant form at the moment um, since the 27th of June which is only sort of t the last 10 days four out of five of these quick returners have gone in um, so he's got Miss Ranger tomorrow she's got no obvious form um, that would be a horse that because I like going at a big price bomb I'd want to look at that horse in more detail um, and she'd definitely be one that I'd be trying to make a case for <laughs> potentially in vain but but I know that you know I know that when Roger runs one back quickly um, he thinks he's got a chance and um, she might be she might be playable at a price for a trainer who's in form so that's that so that's one of the things I want to do is the big sample size and the low win percent the other thing I want to do is the small sample size and the higher win percent um, and each has their merits in different ways uh, now that Roger Fell one appears on both reports but this one as you can see has got more lines on it um, what might be interesting here Steph Canary uh, seven minus days that might be interesting William Haggis with his stayers uh, and he has three tomorrow two in the same race at the top of the market which is a bit unhelpful so we might look at the other one um, Menuisier with last time out winners 32% which is the average is about 16 um, uh, maybe a little bit higher than that in fact looking at that IV um, so that's that's interesting in regards to that guy um, James Tate off a layoff more than 25% strike rate off a layoff now they're not profitable so um, um, at starting price at least so people tend to know um, people tend to know that these are ready let's say and again we can see that Tate's had a a reasonable run of it in 2019 plenty plenty of winners at the start of the season he obviously hit the ground hit the ground running there um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's dried up more recently, but certainly there are there are more non-winners in the string. They're still, you know, still popping in at six to four and three to one and nine to four and two to one. None of them are exciting prices, unfortunately, um, and that's reflected in this kind of high strike rate, um, but sort of a zero-ish profit and loss. Um, so interesting but probably not uh, of utility that one and then we got um, I think it's Luke McJanet and Roger fell down at the bottom here as well so lots to go at there um, if you go into the individual reports then you can you can obviously look at these things individually but what you might do is you say well I, I kind of want a little bit more data I, I want a few more rows to go at and um, and you can you can muck about with a few of these parameters just to kind of extend the net now obviously you're losing your the sharpness the keenness of your focus by doing that but um, 
one doesn't want to throw out the winning baby <laughs> with the uh, high strike rate bathwater, if you see what I mean. So if it, you know, you can if you on the all one, you kind of you're taking a generalist approach. Whereas with the individual uh, radio, the individual blue buttons, you're looking um, specifically for one thing or another. Now, just one other thing that I wanted to show you these these lists cover all races. But if you press a handicap button, um, they will return data for only for handicap races. And you can see all of a sudden we've got a whole bunch of other performers in here. Um, this is particularly material for first and second start. So first start uh, with the handicap button selected is first start in a handicap. First start with the all button selected is first start in any race. So it's really important. And the same with second start as well. So um, first start in a handicap, we've got Osborne and Chrisford. Chrisford particularly interesting. He's got turn and twirl tomorrow. And I, I definitely would be having a look at that horse um uh one and maiden or a novice and then has run well last time so won't be lost on the market i'm sure but that's that's a horse to to be interested in jamie osborne slightly lower strike rate but a much higher uh win profit and loss um are they running in, they're not running in the same race no so two at chelmsford again we've got a winner here with a with a duck egg last time so those duck eggs can make for a price um osborne and curry go very well together and um, that that might be an interesting one as well second start in a handicap really interesting roger charlton here look at this these are super stats um and we can see uh it had one last month at 10 to 1 and a 12 to 1 so these go in at prices so this is um this would be an interesting one to look out for cambric was a winner last time out first time in a handicap um that that horse had absolutely no form, couldn't possibly win that race and was quite a good winner in the end. And um, um, unfortunately, that's not going to be 10 or 12 to 1, but it, it, it must have, you know, without looking at the race, it must have a very solid chance based on the improvement it showed for first run in a handicap last time on this second start in a handicap now. Uh, trainer change, very interesting. Nothing um, against these parameters. 60 plus days that's James Tate again and seven minus going to be Roger Fell uh, Canary and McJanet all of which might be of interest um, with their single runners I mean that that might <laughs> you, you obviously look at the races and all the rest of it but that might make an interesting each way patent right there so uh, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to actually look at any races today and I'm going to truncate the video at this point but I just wanted to show you uh, kind of rather than looking at a specific race show you a few top down um, uh, approaches that I use and when I'm looking I'm just looking I'm looking for an interesting horse I'm looking for an in in a race and I definitely would be looking at these guys and a few of the other ones that I've highlighted um, in this video so I hope that was useful um, probably go back to doing the the sort of uh, specific race preview next week although if you find utility in this do leave a message under the video and um, maybe i'll do some more like this um I, these things can be whatever you want them to be so don't be shy please do tell me what you like and what you don't like and i'll make sure that uh, the content that i record for you is exactly as you'd have it okay this is matt bizonio saying thank you very much for watching as always have a great weekend betting and bye for now